I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got the Nine of Pentacles. And it's with the Two of Cups. So, the Nine of Pentacles... It's actually one of the most lifting, encouraging cards in the deck. This can mean that your financial worries, they're over for a while, and that things will be going better than you thought possible. So enjoy this good energy and share your wealth and happiness with others. Now, it's with the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is beautiful. It refers to romantic partnership. But that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. In general, this card, it says that things are likely to be going well. So you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So basically, Aquarius... Recent past energy for you and your person. Nine of Pentacles clarified by this Two of Cups. So, yeah, this connection, it felt like there was a harmony. It felt like a union. There was a deep, deep connection with this Two of Cups showing up here. And your person felt like you were the ideal partner. And things were going better than you thought even possible. Things were looking really good for you and your person. Yeah, there was a lot of love. A romantic love. And like I said, with the Nine of Pentacles, the relationship could have gone to the next level. New heights of intimacy and joy. So yeah, the recent past energy between you and your person... Not bad. It was looking pretty good. So let's see what's coming up. Also, just a little side note about this Two of Cups. Two of Cups can also mean romantic, like I said, romantic love. But it could mean um, proposal, marriage. So for some of you, the relationship was um, going in that direction. Yeah, and things were good. Looking better than you thought even possible. So let's move on over and let's take a look. Let's see what we got coming up for the two of you. So we got this five of wands. And it's with the ace of, so no, ace of pentacles. Yeah, the five of wands. It can refer to competition. It could be career or work. But since this is a love reading, it can sometimes refer to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Just know that you have something to offer and you can be successful. But you're going to have to try just to see results. So when this card appears, your need to believe in yourself would have to be stronger than ever. So you'd have to hold your head up high. And have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. Also, with the Five of Wands, you could be thinking of possibly making a career change. Just know that you can be successful if so. Now, it's with the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, you could find that you're enjoying new beginnings on several levels. These would be very positive new beginnings. So you're likely to be feeling optimistic, upbeat, and hopeful about your future. Things should be going well. You could be starting something new very soon. This could be an area of work or it could be personally. But either way, it's a really good thing. Yeah, I like the Ace of Pentacles. I don't know if you can see the details of this card. It's below the word present. But if you put your um, screen on full, then it will blow up the details of the 
the pictures, but the Ace of Pentacles is this, you see the squirrel? He looks like he could be sitting in the forest. And he's in front of this huge pinnacle. Now, when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. And he's around all these trees, a uh, bunch of green leaves. It looks like it probably rained for maybe, maybe two days nonstop, or maybe more. Just heavy rain, nonstop. And what it did, it, it cleansed the earth. And it also cleansed his tracks, the squirrel's tracks. He can't find his footprints or his paw prints anywhere. So he's he's finally come out from hiding from the rain. And he's like, wow, finally it stopped. A new day. He's trying to figure out, should he make some new paw prints running to the right? Make some new paw prints running to the left? Or should he climb up the pinnacle and make some new prints of his paws? Or his feet or whatever they are. And then he's thinking, oh, I should just run right into the camera. So it's about being excited about a, a new, something fresh and new. Because everything is cleansed. It's a new beginning. On several levels with the Ace of Pentacles. So, basically, coming up for you and your person, Five of Wands, clarified by this Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, what I'm getting is that, like I said, Five of Wands can be about competition. So, could be for some of you, Aquarius, the, per the person that you have your eye on, they could be being pursued by several people. Yeah, there could be a romantic rivalry going on here. Yeah, and it's causing a struggle for dominance. So you could be telling your person you, you're not really um, happy with it and that you will find a new beginning somewhere else. So you could be giving your person an ultimatum. Yeah, because this Five of Wands, it's interesting card if you can see the details. I won't really go into it, just a little bit. But there, you see the, the Five of Wands is the card above the word present. There's five, five men up there. Four of them are battling each other with their sticks or their wands. And then you got this, you got your person over there. Standing off to the to the left, just standing there, and he's grinning. He's got a big, huge grin on his face. So, for a lot of you, your person, they enjoy that it, that it gets you all worked up, and it bothers you that there's other people fighting for their attention. And it's causing you to struggle just to stay on top of the connection. And this person, your person, they, for not all of you, but some of you, your person, um, they, it feeds their ego when they can get you all worked up like this and upset because, um, for some of you, they're bringing other people into the mix. And you have to just struggle just to stay on top. Competition. So you're you're letting your person know, look, I will find a new beginning somewhere else. So that's what we got coming up for at the present time. So we move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Knight of Pentacles. And it's with the High Priestess. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, it can mean stability. It can indicate um, someone's ready for a serious relationship. And if you are, and if you're single and you're watching, 
you may find someone who's ready to provide you with security and support that you need. And if you're in a relationship, it can mean that your commitment is solid. The Nine of Pentacles is great. It's a very solid, stable, committed type of energy. This night is very practical and very patient and protective. It's kind of like your knight in shining armor. That's what the Knight of Pentacles would feel like. Very loyal and faithful. He yeah, has very stable energy. Now it's with this high priestess. The high priestess, it can mean that you, you'd be in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. So this would be a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's important to pay attention to any dreams that you have. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, it would be a really good idea. Yeah, the high priestess, she'll go silent on you and just sit really pretty. Because it's a magical, mystical time. It would feel like it anyway. Because the high priestess, with this card, you could find um, people actually throwing themselves at you. But the problem is that you'll attract all kinds, the good, the bad, the ugly, and it's not always easy to tell which is which. So basically, the challenge Knight of Pentacles clarified by the High Priestess. Yeah, so Aquarius, you letting your person know you're not having all these other people trying to get up into this mix. And making you feel like you have to fight while they're enjoying it. And keep in mind, these could be family mem unwa unwanted family members. It doesn't have to be um, the opposite sex. Or a bunch of other men or other women trying to get into the mix. Yeah, it could be some unhealthy friends or some unhealthy family members. We know how some of those like to bring two people down. Especially if they see you're happy. So yeah. The Knight of Pentacles. Your person. Like I said. They understand. That you, you could be putting your foot down. And letting them know. That you will find a new beginning somewhere else. Because you're not happy with. Feeling like you have to struggle. For dominance in the relationship. So here they come. Letting you know that they they can be practical and make this stable. And they might be telling you they want commitment. Because the Knight of Pentacles is a very solid type of energy. But it looks like Aquarius, you might go silent on them. Yeah, just to see. See what's going to happen. If they're really going to change. And cut out the crap that's trying to come in. To the connection. So that is the challenge. Now we move on over. We take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the two of. Yeah that is a two of wands. And it's with the seven of wands. Now the two of wands. With this card. It's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the simple mundane boring things. Like eating right. Getting enough rest. Two of Wands, it can indicate a partnership with another person. This could be business, it could be birth, it could be business or personal or both. It reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take that's required for successful relationships. And if things are feeling out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize. Now, it's with this Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. You could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top. Things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have, they'll be moving right along. You might still have some regular moments of self-doubt. But it's going to be the time to feel the fear. 
and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make clear where you stand to people because your thinking is clear. And you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This Seven of Wands, it can point to being independent and thinking for yourself. So your outcome, Aquarius, Two of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so, like I said, you looks like you, you're giving your person an ultimatum. Cut out the BS. They're trying to come correct with the Knight of Pentacles here. This solid and stable energy. They could be trying to uh, let you know they want to make it more committed. Like I said, they do find you to be the ideal partner. But for some reason, all of these other people trying to get into the mix, uh, I kind of, I'm getting that they, they enjoy it. They enjoy watching people fight over them. If you could just see the look of the face of this man just standing off to the side of the Five of Wands. He's just grinning so, so heavily. Yeah, so you sit, you're sitting quiet. The high priestess. She'll she'll sit there and be real quiet and looking really pretty. Yeah. And your person, they know that you have two options with this two of wands here. You got another option. Or maybe more, but the two of wands is saying you could have two options towards the future. So they know that you could actually leave and go somewhere else or be with someone else. So, yeah, they're trying to come correct, make it more stable. And with the Seven of Wands here, it's showing that they want, they do want to come out on top. They want to win the connection. So, Aquarius, yeah, you've got somebody that really wants to work on it. They got a lot of love for you. They find you attractive here with the High Priestess. And it looks like the just some silly stuff going on here. But it looks like they could be working on it. So, Aquarius, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the, notific hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself. Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, also keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your other, your person could actually be a friend. Could be a family member or a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. So just take the reading for however it resonates. So Aquarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope that you have a great day and take care.